Hi, Linda here. Welcome to today's segment called Sun Salutations in Your Breath. This is going to be dynamic chair yoga. We'll be standing up the whole time, so it's going to be quite active. And sun salutations can often be used as a warm up for other activities or even just something you do first thing in the morning to get going. It may even give you a little cardio. So how this class will work is that we're going to start out with some breathing and then we'll go through all the elements that make up this simple sun salutation one by one. And we'll take our time with that and then we'll move through a vinyasa more quickly and I'll explain that when we get there. So all you need today is your mat and a chair and just go over and get comfortable on your mat and I'll meet you there. One second. All right, the first thing we're going to do is talk about standing in mountain pose. So what you wanna do for this is have your feet roughly hip distance apart, meaning your hips being these bony hip points, not your outer hip width, that would be a bit wide. And try and have your feet parallel if you can. If this is not comfortable, try having your feet a bit wider or your toes turned out a bit. And then from there, stack your hips, heart and head right above your ankles so that you're standing nice and tall. And we'll be using this pose. Now we're going to start out just doing some breathing while we stand in mountain. And this is going to be the start of our sun salutation. So as you start to breathe in, lift your arms out to the side bringing your palms together above your head. And then as you exhale, draw a line down the midline of your body to about your waist. And then let go of your hands and bring them apart as you start to inhale. And let's just take a series of breaths here. Yoga is phenomenal for helping you get in touch with your breathing and pay attention to your breath. Your breathing often improves and it just helps you to be able to come, become more calm when you want to. And to start to notice all the cues our bodies give us that we sometimes ignore when we're busy doing something else. So just take a few more of these sun breaths, standing in mountain pose, gathering your own thoughts. Let's take five more in silence. When you think about breathing in yoga, there's not really a right and wrong way to do things. Often when, if you're working out at the gym, what you would think about doing is when you're doing the really hard part of an exercise, that's when you'd exhale and the inhale would be a lighter and easier part of the exercise. So with yoga, um, often you're inhaling as you're lifting up exhaling as you're going down. But if something different works for you or you get it mixed up, you know, don't worry about it. It's not harmful or anything to be doing it a different way. Um, so I'm just gonna be giving you some cues about your breathing as we go through that might help you feel more at ease. So the next part after we do mountain and sun breath is coming into a forward fold. And we are eventually going to be using the chair to lean on. So we're standing a little bit away from the chair, but in front of the chair seat, standing in mountain. Next part is forward fold. 
So as you're standing up, look straight forward, take an inhale here. And then as you start to exhale, start to hinge your hips, bring your upper body forward, your head and your shoulders come forward. Your upper back starts to round as you slowly roll your way down to bring your hands onto the top of your shins and you have your back parallel to the floor, sometimes called a flat back. You can inhale here. And then as you continue down on your next exhale, come down into forward fold where your fingertips touch the mat. And you can step your feet wider, bend your knees here if you need to do that. And then you start to roll back up. And part way up, we're going to step over to the chair, coming into a plank. So for a plank, you want your torso to be really solid. So your abs are firm, your glutes are firm, your body's in a long straight line. So you'll be leaning on the chair. I like to have my hands on the edge of the chair, but you could also have them flat or with your fists. Come into plank, standing on the balls of your feet with your shoulders right above your wrists, squeezing in your abs and glutes. Take some breath here to help you with this as you hold. And then from here, we're going into downward facing dog. So for this, you might put your palms flat, stay on the balls of your feet, and you might step back a bit Lower your head between your arms. Press down on your hands and pull your arms together and use that power to send your hips up and back. And we won't be holding in this for a long time, so you don't need to be doing any other activities. And then from there, we're going back into a forward fold. And then from here, press into your feet, bend your knees if you need to. Inhale all the way up, coming back to a mountain and another sun breath. So this is how you do it. Now, as we go through each part of the vinyasa, I'm just going to say the name of the pose so that we can just flow through it more quickly. And a lot of times people will do quite a number of these. So you could incorporate that into your routine that you do several sun salutations, as many as you want to. We're going to do two together today, but if you want to continue on, you're welcome to do that. So let's start out standing in our mountain pose, facing towards the chair. With the arms at the side, let's start out taking three sun breaths. Halfway forward fold. Forward fold. Plank. Downward facing dog. Halfway forward fold. Forward fold. Mountains, sun breaths. Take three more here. Halfway forward fold. Forward fold. Plank. Downward facing dog. Halfway forward fold, forward fold, mountain sun breaths. This is the end of our segment today, but you can keep going as much as you want or come back whenever you like. Have a great day. Take care. Bye now.